Hi guys, yesterday I was thinking can we make our Elementor post to slide without any plugin? Because Elementor already has a slider widget. So there must be a possibility to make the post to slide as well. So today I will show you how we can make our post to slide with a little bit uh, help of coding. And of course it will be a little bit advanced tutorial but hope you guys will be benefited from it. So let me show you how we can do that. So this is our post slider as you can see the post is sliding one by one we also have some navigation this is our navigation so this is our slider so i will show you how you can create this slider from the scratch this is the new page in this page we'll add our post slider first of all we need to add a section so click and add a one column section and we need to give this section a class so select the section go to advanced css class and give it any name you want blog holder and in here we also need to add another class if we add this class elementor will automatically style our slider so that will be very helpful for us so the class will be elementor elementor dash slick s l i c k slick dash slider elementor slick slider so we need to add this class as well so elementor normally use slick slider this is this slick slider plugin as you can see elementor use this plugin to make this slider so you will use this class so that on elementor automatically add the navigation css and other css this is our section let's add our post so go to post posts so this is our post as you can see we have the post you can choose your custom skin as well if you want i am going for the classic so this is our post and we have to make it slide so first of all we need to decide the column in here so how many posts will show in this area i am keeping it three you can make it one and in here post per page you can choose any amount of post per page this amount will be shown in the slider as well so i am making it minus one so that it shows all of the posts we have and you can adjust the other setting from here if you want I am keeping it just like that and let's click update so this is our slider so let me view it so as you can see currently it's doing nothing just simply post so how can we make this sliding we need to go to our customizer and we need to add some CSS and JavaScript you can add this CSS and JavaScript in your theme CSS and JavaScript file as well. As I'm using Ocean WP, it already has a custom JavaScript customizing section. So we'll add some JavaScript. If we go to the slick section and go to use this section, as you can see, we have some instruction in here. So what we need to do, we need to follow this JavaScript instruction. As you can see, we need to add this code. So document dot ready function and inside this function we will call this slick slider. So let's copy this one and go to this section and paste in here. We will replace this dollar sign with jQuery so that it doesn't conflict with anything. jQuery also change this dollar sign to jQuery. jQuery document dot ready function and in here we will select our default post holder and other settings we'll add just the other setting as well in here as you can see in the single quote we need to add the class of our post so the class of our post holder was blog underscore holder so in here let's first add dot blog underscore holder and then give it a space because elementor wraps this post inside another div so if you inspect in here as you can see there are lots of lots of div so what we need to target is blog underscore holder space we need to add the class that is holding all the post so the class is elementor dash post so element elementor dash POSTS plural that will be elementor dash posts so blog underscore header dot elementor dot post and in here as you can see it's setting dash name delete this section and in here we need to adjust the settings for the slider 
so what i mean by this setting is how many slider you want to show at a time how many will be slide if it will be auto play or something so if you go to this setting area or users area you can see we have tons of other settings as well so first of all i need this slider will be automatically play to do that we need to type auto play clone true so auto play clone true and add comma after that we need to we need to set up this slider so that three column shows in each slide so first of all we need to type slide to show as you can see if you go to this settings area or any demo area in here you can see slides to show so that means this each time three slides will be shown so slides to show slides to show in our case this should be the column we have selected we have selected three columns so this should be three if you select one column so in here slide to show you should put one and then we need to add uh, another code that is slide to scroll as you can see it is set to three and if you just click this next button three slides are scrolling at a time so you need to define this as well so slide slides to scroll column now let's set it one so that on post will slide at a time you can set it whatever you want let's add a comma and I will also another setting that is infinite equal true so that in here as you can see if we scroll it will scroll endlessly if you don't want this you can make it disable but I am adding it infinite I N F I N I T E clone true you can set it false if you don't want it and let's publish and let's refresh this as you can see we have added this slider but as you can see it's not showing properly so we have we need to add some css as well so what will be the css in your customizer go in here first of all if i inspect in this one as you can see it's inside a article tag first of all we need to add this css slick dash initialized D -D. space dot sleek dash slide so we need to add this CS classes sleek dash initialize sleek dot slide and you we need to make it display block don't worry I will provide the code in a URL or in my site so that you can copy paste we need to make this display block and make it important so that it overrides all the CSS. So, slick initialize slick slide display block. Let's save and let's check what happens. As you can see, nothing happens actually. So, let's another add another one and let's target our post holder that was blog holder and we need to target the container so that will be elementor elementor posts dash container in here we need to give this post container 100% width width 100% and we need also need to add a display tag to block and make it important so let's save it block holder this was the class of our section then elementor post container give it with 100% and display block let's, let's refresh this as you can see now it is showing perfectly we need to add little more space between them so let's add some space in here so let's target again blog holder 
and we need to target this article because each of the post as you can see if you inspect this each of the post within a article tag so let's target this article and we need to add a margin margin you can add any type any amount of margin i am adding 7 pixel and let's put it important so that it's override everything let's publish let's refresh our post as you can see now we have some little bit of margin between them and everything works perfectly fine but the arrow is not showing actually the arrow is showing but it's white in color so to make it different color we need to target the blog as you can see in button we need to target this before tag so that will be blog holder slick next before and slick brief before so our class will be blog holder slick brief before and we need also need blog holder slick next before so copy this blog holder and in here make it slick next as you can see we need to target both slick brief and slick next this is the class for this arrow and we will add a pseudo class before and let's make it color Ash. 333 you can add any color if you want let's publish as you can see our arrow is now showing perfect so this is how we can create any type of post into slider so this was the tutorial the main benefit of the slider is you can turn any of your post widget into slider that means the custom designed on as well by the way if you already don't know how can you design custom post loop please check my previous video so if you think this video is helpful please don't forget to subscribe and also like or dislike my video i will see you in the next tutorial